the countdown to March break is on and that means some of the busiest travel days are just around the corner. So to help prevent the gridlock many have been experiencing here at Pearson Airport, the GTAA is cracking down on the number of flights during peak travel times. So you've been at Pearson when it's been chaos. Oh, I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what the Maple Leaf Lounge is oh, for, by the way. Canada's largest airports authority says it's taking decisive measures to flatten peak hour schedules by setting hard limits on the number of commercial flights that can arrive and depart during the busiest hours. This all starts with spring break in two weeks from now, when at the height, an estimated 125,000 travelers will be moving through the terminals. It was getting to a point where a lot of the traveling public we're rather getting in cars and doing road trips. Travel expert Wayne Smith tells me after a couple of years of disarray, this was a necessary step and travelers should notice a much smoother transition through the airport, but says it's also a very pricey move. Downside to the airlines is they're paying gate fees and this is going to be an expensive thing to do. So, for example, an airline, if they can flip a gate three or four times in a day, they're, they're maximizing how much money they're making as a result of using that gate. Now, if that gets cut down, that's a pretty expensive um, cut down for them. Is this going to raise cost, the cost for customers? Most likely, you, you probably will see a small increase in prices because, once again, airplane tickets are bought based on demand and demand curves. So if there's less flights, higher demand curve, higher prices. You may remember these images just a few months ago. Luggage mountains were making headlines here when weather related delays and frozen loading equipment turned travel into chaos. To help avoid a repeat, the GTAA tells me. We have brought in an outside firm to do a baggage system health check. They will be conducting interviews and an on-site assessment with a target completion date of spring 2023. It goes on to say we're also looking to increase our store of baggage parts so we aren't reliant on global supply chains that haven't fully recovered. It's been a tough go for Pearson Airport as it transitioned out of pandemic shutdowns. Too many flights, staffing shortages and strict COVID screening protocols created nightmare scenarios. In the summer of 2022, it was voted the world's worst major airport when it came to delays and the fourth worst for overall satisfaction. Today, a much calmer scene. So what do you think of something like that to sort of crowd manage crowd control? I think it's a wonderful idea because if you don't, the result is late flights, canceled flights, people upset. Just go ahead and do it up front. And as long as you talk to people and tell them what to expect, they're happy with that. It's likely last minute flights and charters would be canceled if airlines have to juggle their schedules. The GTAA has not yet said what the cap will be on flights during those busy hours. At Pearson Airport, Shauna Hunt City News.